The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648 or internationally at 727 873 7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the January 7th. I believe it's a January 7th. Yeah, January 7th, a terrific Tuesday or Taco Tuesday edition of today's Trader Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us. Not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find a gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here, but much, much more important than that. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, we've got you covered there, too. Send me a quick email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got the markets uh, kind of mixed bag out here. The Dow's up 100 plus points. The S&P down seven. She's trading out of 32.39. Nothing has broken through support. Uh, Russell 2000 may be a different story out there. Nasdaq 114 points, two tenths of a percent to the upside. Two point. 2% to the upside would be the semis. They're up 41 points, trading out at 1875. Uh, you've got the uh, spot Velotidex trading lower. Interesting. 1363 is the print. We need to see where that is in relationship to its 50 day exponential moving average. You've got gold up four bucks, silver, 17 pennies, light sweet crude off 74 cents, trading out at 6254, leading the charge dollar wise to the upside. It's Mercado Libre up nearly 20 bucks, a little over 3%. Tesla's up 15, three and a half percent. Riata Pharmaceuticals up 11 bucks or 5%. Lamb Research up 3%, nine buckaroonies. To the downside, leading the charge, painting the town red. It's AutoZone off 21 bucks, nearly 2%. Intuitive Surgical down 2% or 12 bucks. Murata, Murati Therapeutics off 9 bucks, 8%. O'Reilly Automotive down about 8 bucks, a little about, about 2%. So no questions that we have. No, uh, oh, I take that back. There is one that just snuck in here. This one coming from Chris B. Let's go to the first question out here. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, Chris. Uh, I, I just bought a royalty stock this morning that looks to have a bright future. Would love your thoughts on it. Um, the problem here, Chris, is great email, but I don't see the name of the ticker symbol. So I'm good. Pretty good. I'm not that good, though. So I don't see it here in the email. I'm reading through it again. Would you be kind enough to uh, send me that uh, stock symbol? And then um, I will uh, I'll tell you exactly what I uh, think about it or what I what I see in the stock charts out there. In the meantime, while we wait for Chris's email or your email or your call, let's go take a look at the uh, general markets out here, try to get a flavor and a feel for what they're doing. So let's start by taking a look at where is price trading in relationship to levels of support or resistance. The first levels of support or resistance we're going to look at are going to be those TAS market profiles. And here is truly a mixed bag. If you take a look at the ES Mini, trading in between its daily profiles, the bottom of which is 3216, the top 3241. If we take a look at the NQ, price is not only trading above the 2019 high, which is 88.4350, it's also trading above the top of its daily profile. So the NQ is just simply 
all out bearish. Now, it hasn't taken out its previous spike high or high out here from a few days ago, but nonetheless, it's above resistance areas out there. We take a look at the Dow. Now, those yellow lines that you see, horizontal lines on my screen out there, those are the highs for last year. So trading above those highs is, uh, uh, it, it'd have to give it a bullish edge to the interpretation of what it means. If you're not trading above it, well, then you haven't broken out. Uh, you kind of get the picture out here. So with regard to that, which we could say is breaking out, it is the NQ out here. If we take a look at the Dow, price is trading in between its daily set of profiles out there, the top of which is 28,625. It's a bearish structured profile. If you do see price um, close below 28,530, not 529, not 528, I don't know the exact number, but below 530, well, then that would be telling us that sellers should be able to move price down to the 28,292 level. That would be the bottom of its profile. We're not there yet, but watch at 28,530 level. I think that would be very important when it comes to the russell 2000 well it is trading below the bottom of its daily profile which is 1665 and change out there and the price has support potential support at the bottom of its weekly profile which is 1635 and change out there so with regard to market profiles what's the story here in essence inside the es mini you've got a consolidation because price is trading in between its daily profile inside the nasdaq price is free to run higher inside the russell inside the dow price is trading with inside its box so it's in essence in a consolidation and the russell 2000 has a mind of its own um, and it's not trading inside its consolidation other than maybe the larger consolidation. That would be the weekly set of profiles, 1635 to the south and 1687 to the north. Just out of curiosity, where are the equity futures contracts trading in relationship to their Apogee pivot points out here? The ES Mini is above it, which is 32.3750. The NQ is above it pivot point that's 8776 the dow just slightly below its pivot point of 28570 and the russell below it so we've got a mixed bag out here do we have any more mixed bags i don't know let's go take a look at the uh, new york stock exchange see what its advanced decline oscillator reading is well, right now it's just below zero the reading is minus 10.15 that is panel number two if there is a close below zero you need to see a second close below zero that would be tomorrow um, combined with the spot volatilics trading above its 50-day exponential moving average in order to get the alignment that sellers would need in order to be able to push prices lower. 13.66 is the 50-day uh, exponential moving average, and you've got the spot volatility trading below that now at 13.58. Boy, these markets are getting, they're making it more and more difficult for you and I to navigate. No consistency here. What do you mean, Steve-O? Well, when the advanced decline oscillator is below zero, it's telling you that the market breadth has switched to negative. Now, you need that second day in a row because you can have just, you've heard of the one-hit wonders out there. Well, that could be the same thing, or we apply the same thing here to uh, trading and investing. You want to see a band that's going to be around a long time. You know, I, you can pick out a number of bands out there that have been around for a long time, and they've got plenty of those one-hit wonders out here. So you need to see at least two days. and if the market breadth is negative, combined with the spot volatility above its 50-day, that's when the New York Stock Exchange can get rocking and rolling to the downside. And that is not the message we have right now. We've got those conflicting signals. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow's off 96, S&P about uh, six points. Our uh, second question, we'll go back to our first question here from Chris B. in just a moment. But the uh, second question coming in from John inside the Tiger's Den. And John wants to take a look at uh, the current uh, silver contract. That is the March contract out there. And the question is, can silver uh, run past 1850 and move up to 1960? So, John, the, the chart that is most interesting to me at this stage here to assist you in answering that question would be taking a look at at the uh, we, the monthly time frame chart here for silver. Now, what you're going to notice, or what you should do, excuse me, what you should notice, is two green horizontal lines. One is 1832. The 1832 mark, on a weekly basis, is the most recent TD setup nine count to the bottom, and we can see that price uh, has tried to crack that 1832 level and has failed to do so. So there's a level of resistance. The next level, which is 1949. So if, and, and I, you know, can I see price spiking up into that 1950 level? 1949 happens to be the next TD setup nine count. Yeah, there's been lots of resistance uh, in there. But watch this 1832 uh, price of silver right now, 18. 38 out here. So it's trading right now up into a resistance level. That's what the monthly time frame chart is telling us. And I think that that is important. Let me switch over. I'll kind of flip back and forth between charts here. If we take a look at silver in relationship to its TAS market profiles, prices above the top of the daily, weekly, and monthly. Those are the two charts on the upper panel and then the lower left. The lower right happens to be the quarterly set of profiles out here. The quarterly set of profiles has a current top of its box at uh, 1881. So there's another level of resistance here, 1881. It's above 1850. It's not all the way to 1960. But that is a uh, so you've got some significant resistance with regard to silver as we take a look at it. Now we take a look at the daily time frame chart. So at least in this case here, you know where the sellers are sitting and they're in essence, they're in range right now. If we take a look at the daily time frame chart out here, today is going to be bar number eight of a TD setup nine count to the upside. We know that on those TD setups, it can be bar number eight. 
as was the case inside of silver when it last topped back on September 4, 2019. Or it could be bar number nine, or it could be the bar following nine. Now, typically, that high would occur on either bar eight, nine, or 10. So that would say to Stevie that if this is going to identify a uh, top out here, uh, that yesterday's high should be taken out, whether that's today, whether that's tomorrow would be Wednesday or whether that's Thursday before you would see that TD setup count out here. Uh, because bar seven right now is the one with the high. We can't see on a daily basis DV's red line turned green. There's going to be an eventual hookup between price and uh, uh, and the oscillator on change line out there. Um, but that, that, could, that could stall for really several trading sessions out there. So the Quarterly's got resistance. We gave you those levels. The monthly has got resistance. We took a look at those. We know that the daily is potentially moving into a uh, possible topping pattern scenario with its TD setup counts out here. And if we take a look at the uh, weekly uh, chart out here, not really much more to add to the uh, picture. So hopefully... Uh, that assists you with regard to uh, silver. If we take a look at it just out of curiosity, let's go take a look at silver on a uh, very short-term basis. By very, I guess I'm just going to take a look at a 60-minute time frame chart out here. Let's go see what silver's done on the hourly. This is still suggesting this, too, by the way, on an hourly basis is in bar number six. Maybe the TD setup nine count occurs here sometime around. So that would be bar number six would be two. Then you'd have three would be seven. Uh, four would be eight. Yeah, so it could be four or this evening in the uh, when the uh, silver contract begins trading again. So that's just your one hour time frame chart. John, hope that helps you out with regard to high ho silver. Now let's go back to the first question that came in. Let me pull this up here. And that was from Chris B. And Chris wanted to take a look at ticker symbol EMX. So let's go grab that out here. EMX, a Realty Corp. And let me get that going on my other charts as well. And so you're, I think you just bought this today, looking for this thing to continue to soar. So uh, as far as today's activity, what price did was it pulled back, tested the top of a brand new daily profile, which is a buck 59, and has bounced off of that. So that looks good. Price is above the weekly set of profiles and above the monthly. So now what we've got to go do out here, Chris, is go see, is there some kind of topping patterns or signals? So let's begin by taking a look at the daily time frame chart. When we take a look at the daily time frame chart, here's what we know. We know that price has been stretching itself and it's been doing it with less relative energy out here. Now, what we don't have, what's missing from this picture is uh, some type of bearish reversal candle. But I would just be cautious, just cautious. Doesn't say exit the trade, just says be careful, be very, very, very careful out there. Now, that's what the daily time frame chart shows us. We, we took a look at how price bounced off the top of that profile. So staying above 159 would be nice for you. Support on this is 149. That is the bottom of that daily profile. Let's go look at the weekly. So the, the daily is uh, saying, eh, eh, I don't know if it was really the right time to enter. Just be cautious. The weekly has also been stretching to the upside, doing less relative energy out there. Uh, it too does not have a uh, bearish reversal candle. So the pattern not to be ignored, but just simply to be and continue to be observed. Now, look, we just did our wave count from the lows back here in last November or November of 2018. And what you're going to notice is uh, last week's high was wave number seven. That is letter G. So if there's ever caution signs of time to maybe not get into an equity, it would be OK when you've got the roads with indicator signal forming but not yet confirmed. You have to wave number seven. That's a caution sign out there. So you definitely have a caution sign on the weekly time frame for EMX. Maybe it ignores all those caution signs. I don't know. I just know that EMX has got basically one confirmed topping pattern. That's the weekly and one potential inside the daily. Now, when we take a look at the monthly chart out here, monthly is going to show us in bar number seven this week or so it looks let's take a look at its uh, patterns its counts out here um nothing else that uh, shows uh, shows uh, any signs of caution on the monthly time frame chart the monthly time frame chart may also have an a to b equal cd pattern that is underway that would look something like uh this out here with the one to one oh boy 
So now on the monthly time frame, you've got a one to one price projection that has been hit. That was a buck seventy two. Looks like it's pretty much been hit uh, this week, today, yesterday, whenever it might have been a couple days ago out here. So now, look, just because you've hit a one to one, only 60 percent of the uh, symbols that we would look at for any time frame because you got to stay within that time frame, uh, we'll, we'll complete the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD, the one-to-one. -one. The other 40% are going to be an expansion, 1.272, 1 1.6182, some, somewhere thereabout. So um, am I worried that this has made the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD on the monthly time frame? No, but you just need to, Chris, you really need to be aware of that as well. So what's Stevie saying here? I'm saying be cautious. I'm saying be very, very cautious out here. Not saying that it's a bad trade, but you've got a number of signals um, and uh, you just got to be careful. Just got to be careful. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 six and three months timer digest also ranks me as a number one market timer for gold as well the fact is markets can be timed and i'll teach you the exact set of tools that i use that has transformed me into one of the best at what i do sign up for mastering probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where i take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. sign up today the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back. Uh, Dow's off 102 right now. S&P down uh, six. Uh, let's go to our next question. Next question coming in from Brent in Martinez, California. Brent wants to uh, take a look at the oil contract as well as Occidental Petroleum. And uh, this is a pause or potentially a top. 
So let's go take a look at both of those instruments. Let's start here. Let's start with taking a look at Occidental Petroleum. And so with regard to Oxy, O ticker symbol, by the way, folks, OXY, we can see the price is above the uh, daily, above the weekly, and is inside and above the center of its bullish structured monthly profile. And what this communicates to uh, Brent, to you out there, is that uh, longer term, it looks like Occidental Petroleum wants to make a run for the top of that monthly profile, which is 53.69. We, I can't tell you when, how long it's going to take, if it's going to do that, but it is above the center of that monthly profile, 41.95. Now we're early into the month. So, you know, it really needs a close above that level, 41.95, in the month of uh, January. It's only the seventh out there. But nonetheless, let's go with the information that we have, and that looks pretty good. Now let's go back to uh, Brent's other question, top, pause, or what have you. When we start with, let's go from, from, in essence, from right to left or monthly back to daily. When we take a look at Stevie's other charts. What we know about Occidental Petroleum is there should be resistance at Stevie's red line. That's 46.48. Now, price hasn't hit that just yet, but we know that price is moving up in towards that, um, in towards that level. And if price tests and rejects that, on a monthly basis, well, then that would be bearish and suggest that price could move back down to test the bottom of that profile of 39.60 or more or, or worse. But right now, that's what the message would be. What does the weekly time frame message tell us about Occidental Petroleum? Hey, we're above the top of the profile, but what have we traded into? Turns out what the uh, weekly chart for Occidental Petroleum done is it's right now uh, it's it's run right into resistance where it had last broken down. Now, how do we know where the breakdown level was? We do that by taking a look at that TD setup nine count out there. Why? Because it's like you or I running a marathon. And if we were fortunate enough to complete that marathon, whether it was a two-mile marathon, a five-mile marathon, a 25-mile marathon, Lord only knows. The fact is, when we got to that finish line, we'd probably be katut or kaput, however it is you look at that. Well, where's the katut or the kaput line when we take a look at a chart? And it's really simple. It's those breakdown levels because that is showing us the marathon. You had to do nine consecutive closes in this case here where each close was below the close of a bar four bars earlier out here. So it sets up beautiful lines of support or resistance. So Brent, from a weekly perspective, 4542 is the nut. Is there anything in looking at the month, the weekly chart that suggests that you exit? No, just simply that you're up near a uh, top or this could be where the counter trend rally in Occidental Petroleum and based upon its weekly time frame. But let's go take a look at the daily time frame, right? So each of these time frames will have a different story or may have a different story. If we take a look at the daily time frame, this tells us that price is above its first level resistance, 42.30. The next one, its next breakdown level was 45.76. We can see that Stevie's red line has turned green. That's right now at 41.60. You're in bar number seven of a TD setup nine count. If bar number, if the full TD setup nine count occurs before 45.76, its message is it wants to it, it wants to pause or pull back pull back to where well because our oscillator on change on a daily basis has turned from red to green we should see price and it catch up to each other so right now it's printing at 4160 it could be a combination of price stalling the line moving up price pulling back uh, any combination uh, thereof so what our topping and bottoming charts are telling us is that okay on a daily basis maybe this has a little bit further room to run 4576 but that's resistance you've got resistance in the weekly and you've got resistance in the monthly so occidental petroleum has its work cut out for you what you'd really like to see it do is just travel sideways here for a while so it could build up a little bit of energy uh, in its move higher now when we take a look at light sweet crude we know that light sweet crude is above the top of its daily its weekly and trading inside of its monthly profile out there let's see if i can multitask and do two things at one time so in this case here what light sweet crude and also it's trading with inside its quarterly profile so this is suggesting to the extent we don't see some kind of top when we go look at my other charts is that price is targeting the 66 77 to 7027 level. Those are its TAS market profiles from the monthly time frame. So let's go take a look at the monthly time frame chart, see if there's anything out here that we need to be aware of. You know, you've got resistance here where you had that bear sash candle in the month of May. So that would say that resistance here is going to be 6698. Just resistance. <clears throat> 
7782 would be your major resistance level. So right now, price trading, it's consolidating between 7782, it's TD nine count breakdown, and 4699, it's TD nine count breakout. So you've got a consolidation, in essence, longer term consolidation inside of light sweet crude. If we take a look at the weekly time frame, the weekly time frame doesn't show its resistance level until it gets to 7418, if it can get up there. Here we can see the bearish engulfing candle. That is from the month of, uh, I'm sorry, the week of April 26th, 2019, that high. 66.98. Uh, you're going to be in bar number six from a weekly standpoint. We do see that my red line did turn green. And so there's going to be an eventual test of that line and price here. Uh, let's go look at the daily time frame with regard to light sweet crude. What do we see out here? So today so far in its pullback, right now trading out at 62.57, Brent, it's just been a test. It's a bullish test. It's a test of Stevie's green line out there. And so as long as price trades above it, which is 62.42, uh, then you're in good shape and price could continue to move higher. If it trades below 62.42, well, then you're looking at a run back to either 61.64, the top of the daily box, 61.18, or 60.25. So I would say to the extent that you want to pay attention to more granular uh, short-term information, such as the daily time frame, you're watching 62.42, and then it could be any one of those three TAS market profile levels where price would pull back to. But right now, it's bullish. Price has held Stevie's green line. That's what I see when I take a look at light sweet crude, Occidental Petroleum, and uh, thanks for taking the time to write in. Let's go take a look at our next question. This one coming in from John in Sarasota. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Is Mo better? Is Mo moving? So let's go take a look at ticker symbol MO for John in Sarasota. And uh, let's go see what that is. Doesn't, uh, doesn't ring a bell off the top of my head, but probably as soon as I see it, I'll be like, of course it. Of course, yeah. Alt Altria group out here. So the question is, is Mo moving down? Well, if we take a look at it, it was moving down. And John had found support at a friendly area. The bottom of its TAS market profiles. You know, folks, take a look at this chart out here. This is such a beautiful thing. Now, when I say this is such a beautiful thing, what I need to do is I'm going to pull open the chart and I'm going to turn off price. Can I do what? No. Okay, I'll leave price on. I'm going to turn off the profiles. Now, you, 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 you out there, you're good. You're so good. Tell me where support is and where resistance is. Like if you were playing the game of risk, how many of you out there remember playing the game of risk? Or you're just playing any kind of game out there or just a battle. Maybe it's football. Maybe it's an actual bat. Stratego. Remember that game? That was a great game out there. Whatever game it is you play, don't you want to know where buyers and sellers are? Well, here they are. And what did Price do for Altria today? Tested where the sellers are at. 49.40. John. Price must break through that to break the back of the buyers. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from 30000 to 75000 the interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, to folks. We're uh, taking a look at the uh, Altria Group. The ticker symbol here is MO, uh, and this is for John in Sarasota, who was asking the question, is this getting ready to move down? Now, I paused there at the very end as we we're going to commercial because I think I might have said sellers when I meant buyers and so forth. So just because I might have confused you, I just want to go back to the uh, daily time frame chart. That's your left-hand panel. And so what John knows, because today there is a brand new profile that formed. And so to the extent that John would have or you would have market profiles out there, you would know where the buyers are lined up. They're at the bottom of that box, the bottom of that profile. Use box or profile. They're interchangeable out here, even though we don't see any boxes, so to speak, on my screen. That would be 49.40. So if price were to close below 49.40, then the sellers would have broken the backs of the buyers. Where would price then head to next? Well, the next level of support, in lieu of some other daily profile forming, we'd fall back to the weekly. The weekly would say then 48.91. And if price were to close below 48.91, then, John, what that sets up is potentially move all the way back to the bottom of the monthly bear structured profile and price hit the area where if this was just a, let's say, a counter trend rally in a continued move to the downside, which would be 5045 would have been the number that we would have given you. But right now, you've got some support that is held. So I couldn't suggest that you, if you're trying to sell this, I'd rather see you sell this on a bounce higher into resistance where the sellers are at. I'd rather have sellers at your back than for you to be fighting buyers. The sellers are located between 5063 and 5116. So, John, I uh, hope that helps you out, and uh, Happy New Year to you as well. Let's go to Robert in Overland Park, Kansas. Robert, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? For taking my was, call. Oh, my pleasure. I was, uh, yeah. I was calling in about uh, natural gas. If you could give me your thoughts, I've been watching it for a while, and I feel like it's getting close to bottoming. And I wanted to get your take on it. It's a, it's getting it's getting close. We know that buyers are trying to step in here, so you're not the only one with that opinion. They're trying to step in and uh, test the waters out here. So we're taking a look right now at the February uh, 2020. A contract for natural gas. And I know you're calling about UNG, but you want to make your trading decisions based upon what we see inside the underlying instrument. And yesterday, uh, which wasn't really a tough task because the prior day was a, a little doji candle, but yesterday's higher close generated a bullish reversal candle referred to as the bullish engulfing. Now, the reason, Robert, why that's important is because the way that I believe the market walks, talks, and squawks to us 
is at the end of a pattern. Well, one of the patterns that we use out here is our A to B equals CD tool. This is showing the 1 to 1.618 A to B equals CD. We had yesterday's bullish engulfing candle. Today, we can see that price has moved higher, but it is sitting right on Stevie's red line. And we can see that that level has held as resistance. Now, over the course of the last couple of weeks, we have seen a couple of closes above that. But price has given it up on the following trading session out here. So because this is such a large A to B equals CD to the downside, if this really is a bottom out here, um, my suggestion is to just wait and let the market prove itself and communicate that to you. And we just don't have that. The first element of that, of that communication would be a close of about right now at the 216 area. You'd prefer to see it a little bit higher, but then additional follow through tomorrow. Now, here's the potential. Here's another problem, because what natural gas has also done today is it's formed a new profile. Here is the daily time frame. Well, it's also done that in UNG. But let me come back here to the natural gas contract. Let's take a look at its set of profiles out here. And its set of profiles, they should populate. See, it's got a brand new daily profile. So, Robert, either this is in the process of forming a bottom that is a bottom, or this is nothing more than a head fake. And yeah, we'll see a counter trend rally because the sellers are lined up at $2.22 or 23 cents out there. Uh, if, if we get the close above Stevie's red line two days in a row, and then we get the close above $2.23, the top of the daily profile natural gas, then I would tell you that yes, natural gas has bottomed. So to summarize, okay. and, then, and then I'll you know, take whatever other question you have, valid bottoming pattern that is trying to form out here. We got yesterday's bullish reversal candle. What we need today is a close above a resistance area. And right now, that's Stevie's red line. That's the oscillator and change line. Price is trading on it right now. And even if we do get a close above that, and, and you would get the signal to go ahead and take that trade, you've got to be cautious because this also could just be a counter trend rally. We haven't seen uh, natural gas close above the top of a daily profile two days in a row since October the 30th of, of last year. So, um, and if price were to close today back below $2.15, that is the low for 2019. That's really kind of a bearish take out there. So did I, am I clear on my interpretation of the charts or you know, or or not, and, and let me try to be clear with you. Or what other question has formed in your mind? No, that, that was, no, that was that was very clear. I I have a question about a, a, a different instrument, and that is sure. G, GBTC. And I don't know if you evaluate that or not. I know there's a lot of negative views for it for valid reasons, and I just didn't know what your thoughts were because it looks like it's kind of formed a bottom and it's beginning to change a trend in my perspective. Yeah, so this is the ETF for uh, Bitcoin, folks. Uh, uh, um, right now, it's trading at nine dollars and ninety cents, and we'll, we'll just go analyze these charts out here. Uh, my preference would be to go take a look at uh, whatever the underlying instrument is. I don't know if it's just true Bitcoin out there, and I'd rather look at its patterns because it's trading nonstop versus an ETF that's trading, you know, in essence for six and a half hours. Of, of the day, just simply more information is better for us. But in the meantime, because I don't have that, whoops, let me actually type it into the proper spot. Let's go take a look and see what we can understand or learn about the grayscale Bitcoin trust out here. First off, price is above the top of its daily profile, 912, with volume, so that looks good. Price is trading above the top of its weekly profile, that's at 956, that's good. And prices above its monthly profiles out there. So with regard to uh, the Bitcoin trust, what we need to do is go take a look at other tools out here. Well, in this case, this would suggest to me that where GBTC is headed to is where it last broke down, which is $11.12. So you're trading at $9.91. It's already above one key breakdown area that was 919. It gapped up above that today. This would signal to me, Robert, that 1112 is the uh, targeted level uh, on its move on the daily time frame. 
Let's go take a look at the weekly time frame chart because we can see different things out here, different areas of support or resistance. When we take it up, take a look at the weekly time frame, we're going to see that price is trading right into Stevie's red line. Now, see how that line changed color three weeks ago? It changed from green to red. And oftentimes, folks, if you listen to the show, you know when we see that, Stevie says what? Says, hey, we're looking at an impending um, uh, move where price and that line are going to catch up to each other. That's what's transpired now today on the weekly time frame chart. Robert, this week, if price closes above that, let's just say it's $9.85, that will suggest a change in trend. And therefore, I think the weekly will go ahead and uh, carry out its function, which is moving up to its next level of resistance. That level, again, was $11.12. I hope that helps you out. Perfect. Thank you so much. You bet. Robert in Kansas, Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, the opening call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Another hour just motoring on uh, by. Thanks so much for everybody that's uh, writing in with requests or making uh, phone calls like Robert. Just makes the show go so much quicker, and we stay on track. We stay focused on what you want to look at. So during this two-minute wrap, let's go take a look at what Ken wants to look at, which is an entry point into ticker symbol CTL. CTL is Century Link. That's what you see on your screen right now. You can take a look at the daily, weekly, and the monthly set of profiles. What does this tell us? Well, it tells us price below support on the daily time frame. 
prices below support on the weekly time frame and trading with inside support and resistance on the monthly time frame. The monthly would say on this pullback that price may be targeting 1201 to 1083. So Ken, the first two numbers with regard to an entry into CenturyLink are going to be 1083 and 1201 because of that bullish structured monthly profile. Now, let's stick with the monthly. Let's go take a look at it on my other chart, see what we see out here. We see that Stevie's red line is 1107. That's another number to write down out here. What we can also see, though, on the monthly time frame is a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. It was the one-to-one -one level. It was confirmed because of the bullish engulfing candle. You can see that back in the uh, June-July time frame. What else was confirmed? A Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom, also confirmed by that same bullish engulfing candle. Price did get up above Stevie's red squiggly line, but ran into resistance. Old support would have been the TD setup nine count level of 1548. Sometimes these TD nine counts, old support, can become resistance. In this case here, it looks like that's what it's done, Ken. And this is suggesting maybe just simply a pullback to 1107 for an entry point into CenturyLink. If we go take a look at the weekly time frame chart, what is it communicating to us? A price is trading below Stevie's red line. We can see resistance was 1580. Never made it all the way up there, but that was where resistance, where sellers were located. Price below Stevie's red line suggests a further pullback. So your entry point, let me look at the uh, daily real quickly here before we get off of the air. Let's pull this over for Ken. Ken, do we have any other figures out here for you? I don't. Right now, it looks like lower price for CenturyLink. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David, bites up next. Tom O'Brien after that. And I'll be back with you on wonderful Wednesday. Have a great Tuesday.